It is time for this week's one on one. My co pilot this week is none other than Super Blair, Ronald Blair III. Ronald, you ready to cruise around the mean streets of Santa Clara? Yes, sir. Let's All go. All right, here we go. How are you, dude? I mean, how is it being back? It's been a lot of fun, man. Like, being on the other side, you kind of you kind of take it for granted, and then you're sitting there and watching, you're like, man, I just wish I could be out there, wish I could be out there. And luckily, I got the opportunity to come back and do it all over again. It's just, thank you for the opportunity, you know? That must have been a nice little vote of confidence that, that they believed in you enough to, you know, where they made sure to keep you around. Right, yeah, it, it made me feel a whole lot better because I know you got healthy guys out there that come in right now, and they, they had enough trust and belief in me that I was going to come back and be effective. How, when and how do you find out that news that you're going to be sticking around? Uh, John Lynch came up to me and talked. We had been talking on and off a little bit. Pretty much just sat me down and said, hey, uh, you've been doing good. You made the roster. Once you're good and ready to go, we want you out there. And that, that come from that guy, a guy that's a uh, legend, uh, done dang near every stat you can possibly do to see you and look in your eyes and say, we want you around. We like what you've been doing. It's just major respect, and I just just want to thank him for that opportunity. So that was huge. That's great, man. OK, so just plain and simple, how good did it feel to get two against Eli Manning uh, and the Giants? Yeah, it, it felt good, man. Second game back, uh, just getting back in the swing of things, it, it felt real good, man. Uh, he's a, he's probably going to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, he, he's a real good quarterback. It felt good to get him down a couple times. All right, you got to be honest here. Did you know you forced the fumble? No, oh, no, not that You first. had no idea. No idea. <laughs> you, put, you got Eli down, and you sprinted the other direction. <laughs> I was like, I got, I got the sack, and I got up, and I was about to do my celebration. And then I'm looking around at people diving on the ball, and then I waited for a second to see if somebody picked it up, and we picked it up. As soon as I realized Eri got it, I started doing the celebration again. So Pretty funny. So yeah. break, down, <laughs> break down the Super Blair sack celebration. Uh, the, yeah, well, the first one. The first one was uh, me kicking down the door. Uh, that's my little thing I kind of been doing yeah. since college. Uh, you know, like some, being a smaller guy, you kind of get fewer opportunities. So I'm like, I'm knocking at the door. If you're not gonna let me in, I gotta kick my way in that thing. I gotta like make my own. Way. Yeah, you feel me? Like yeah. I gotta, I gotta I got make you. my own I got way you. in I'm there. With so, you. Yeah, and the second one is a dance me and my homeboy back in college. I always talked about doing. We talking ball, but you know, we also got to talk about the other big story of the week, and that's Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. What was what was Thanksgiving like in the Blair household growing up? Oh man, it was a it was a whole bunch of food. I tell you that. Uh, I think if I would have kept eating that, I probably would have been a tackle right now instead of a <laughs> DN. So, give me the power rankings for Thanksgiving dishes. Power rankings. Yeah. Well, first would have to be the mac and cheese. If you don't have mac and cheese, your Thanksgiving in the South is not a Thanksgiving. You just invited people over for food, you know? <laughs> so it, it wasn't Thanksgiving. It, it has to be mac, mac and cheese is definitely my number one. Okay. I love fried ham. That is my number two. Uh, I go collard greens number three. Okay. Then fried turkey number four. Then fried turkey number you gotta four. You got to round up the top five with the dessert. So what's your top dessert at Thanksgiving? Another tough one. But I got to, I have to go to red velvet cake with walnuts in it. Wow. That it, man, my grandma well, that used to make that sounds unbelievable. Stuff. I'm going to your place for Thanksgiving, hey, you, you, man. Come on through. Granny will be up here this year. What's amazing about this team, bringing it back to football, is that you can just tell how much everybody in that locker room loves each other. Everybody works hard from week to week, but sometimes you just don't get the results you want. But getting that win together, getting that for the head guy, getting that for John Lynch, it was just... It was like a relief getting that first one out of the way. So now we're hungry for that taste. We want to keep chasing that taste it's week in and week out. Uh, I'm glad to be a part of something like that, where family, is family, friends, and football is is really something over here. So I'm thankful for that. Being around it, you can you can see the culture changing. But yeah, like I said, man, as much as fun as it is to grind with your brothers and play alongside your brothers and, and play for your brothers. I mean, it's way more fun to celebrate with your brothers. You're right. You're right about that. And it sure is a great feeling Sunday. And hopefully we have a whole lot more Sundays like that. So, Ronald, I appreciate you, man. It's a yes, lot of sir. fun. Always good chatting with you. Yes, sir, always. I appreciate you.